Hey everyone, Karen here, and I'm here today to show you how you can take PDF resources from Teachers Pay Teachers, or wherever, and change them into digital activities that you can use on Seesaw. So this is where, say you have a unit that you've been using in your class for a couple years, you love it, um, you don't want to have to find a new digital activity to use for distance learning. So you can use resources that you've already been using. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the PDF that you want to um, use. So I'm going to show you actually today I'm going to show you three different examples of how you can um, use the existing PDFs on Seesaw. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to just take a regular worksheet that the kids would um, just need to write on. So I'm going to go to the page that I want to use. So let's just say I want this weather words page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my computer to my snipping tool. Okay, so that looks like this. And I'm going to go to new. And with this, I'm going to click and drag the space that I want to select for um, the digital activity. So I'm going to click and drag this whole page here. And then let me pull this down so you can see it. Then I'm just going to save this on my computer. Let's just do weather words. You can just leave it as a PNG. That's fine. You can also save it as a JPEG. All right, I'm going to close this down and I'm going to close down the whole PDF. I don't need that anymore. So now I'm going to go to add um, and I'm going to assign a new activity. So I'm going to go to create new activity here. Let's just do for the activity name. Oop. Science Lesson 2, and you can type instructions here, add voice instructions if you want, or examples. But I'm going to skip down here to Student Template, so I'm going to click Add Template for Student Responses, and here I'm going to click the Upload tool. So now this is where we're going to upload that image that we just snipped from our PDF. So I'm going to go Select from Computer, and I'm going to go to the Weather Words um, image that we snipped. Here it is. I'm going to click the green check mark. It's going to upload it um, to my activity log here. Now this would be something that the kids um, would just use the drawing tool for. They could trace the words and draw a picture like that. All right, so let me save that and assign it. And then I'm going to show you how to do a different type of activity. Okay, so now that's in here. I'm going to show you how, um, let's say I had an activity like this. So this is a building CVC words. Normally the kids would use magnetic letters or dry erase markers to complete this. But let's say I didn't want them to be um, using the drawing tool and writing the letters in themselves. I wanted them to be manipulating letters that were already formed for them. So I'm going to do the same thing as far as get that snipping tool. I'm going to drag it to this whole worksheet here. I'm going to save this. Let's just do um, at word family. Okay. All right, so then I can close this and I can close this. I don't need this anymore. Okay, so let's assign a new activity here. So create new activity. Let's just do at word fa family. Okay, again, you can have instructions up here, but I'm going to go down to the template. I'm going to upload it. So here's where I'm going to select that image. Um, there's the at word family. Okay, click the check mark. All right, so now here's where, um, let's say I wanted them to manipulate the letters instead of um, having to use the drawing tool and writing them. So I'm just going to use that text box tool that's on the side there. And uh, you squeeze that in a little bit. All right, and then I'm going to just make letters. Um, for the kids to manipulate themselves. So an easy way to just duplicate this, you know, you can change the text color and stuff, but I'm just gonna duplicate these rather than having to make new text boxes every time. And then you can just go in and change the letters that are in there. So let's do that. Okay, so again, you would do this for all of the words if you wanted to assign all of the words to the kids. So 
and I just need one more. Um, let's go duplicate that one more time. Okay, and then I would just scramble the letters around so that they weren't in order, you know, just to move them around a little bit. Okay, so now I can assign this, save it, assign it to my class, and this is what it would look like for the student. So if we go here and we go to the sample student, so this is what it's gonna look like for the kids. The kids are just gonna then move these text boxes to spell the word, just like that. And then they can submit it to you. And there we go. Now I'm gonna show you one more type of activity um, where you wouldn't use the drawing tool you wouldn't use text boxes. Maybe you have something like um, in my ultimate phonemic awareness pack. Um, let me go to, okay, here we go. Oops. Okay, so let's see, one of these rhyming sheets. Okay, now here I have a sheet that the students are going to have to um, drag these pictures in to select the word that rhymes. Um, now I'm gonna use the same snipping tool again. And I'm gonna first, I wanna snip the whole worksheet. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I wanna snip just this part right here. Okay, and I'm gonna save that. Boop. I don't know if you can see that. I think I have that cut off at the top, but I'm just saving this rhyme worksheet. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the rhyming worksheet and I'm gonna use the snipping tool and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip the images, okay? So I'm gonna to go to the dog and I'm gonna snip that. And I wanna save that. Um, and I would just save this, you may, you would, may wanna make a folder for, um, for each um, activity that you're doing. Uh, let's do another one. Let's just go to the zip, I wanna save zip. Okay, I'm just gonna save those two for now. Okay, so I would do all four pictures, all right, from this worksheet. I'm just gonna show you the two for right now though, save time. Okay, so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go to assign a new activity, create new activity. So this is rhyming worksheet, PA. I'm gonna skip the instructions. You can add all those in if you'd like, but down here I'm gonna add template for student responses and I'm gonna go back to the upload tool and I'm gonna select that image from my computer. So I'm gonna first do the, um, the whole worksheet and I'm gonna click the check mark for that. Okay, so here's the whole rhyming worksheet. Now I wanna insert those images that the kids can manipulate. So I'm gonna go over here to the camera tool. I'm gonna to go upload and I'm gonna click on these two pictures, upload those together there and I'm going to need to resize them so that they fit the boxes. And that's it. So I would upload all four of them. Then I would save it. Sign it to your class. And you can take a look and see what it will look like for the students. You go to the sample. Um, this is what it's going to look like. So the kids would then have to click the, um, the hand tool down here. Just remind them to do that. So then they would just manipulate, um, drag these pictures to um, each matching word. So lip and zip, dot, log and dog, and they would have the two other pictures in there as well. Save it, and that's it. So I hope this helped, uh, helped you today. And uh, just a, a quick little tip so that you can use existing activities, things that you've already used um, that are not digital, um, how you can use them digitally with Seesaw. Hope this helps. Thanks.